we'll return two starters on offense. We'll return three starters on defense. So a lot of positions to fill this year. And I think that, you know, that, that's maybe added an element of excitement to the heat acclimatization week. The fact that we've got so many open spots and everybody's given a fair and equal opportunity to compete and earn those spots. I think it's really created a lot of excitement, you know, for the boys this week. Yeah, I think, you know, nine in the senior class is that that's good numbers. And, you know, I'm proud to say that, you know, our seniors, I think they're doing a good job, you know, modeling the way for the younger guys and leading this team thus far. With everything in life, you know, coaching football is no different. You always try to draw back on experience. So, you know, for me and for our coaching staff, we were in a very similar situation in 2019. 2018, we had a big senior class. 2019, we had lots of spots to fill. And, you know, kind of how we went about, you know, evaluating the guys, giving people the opportunity to compete for those spots. You know, we're really drawn back to our experience from the 2019 season, you know, to get that same idea here for 2021. Definitely a lot of guys, you know, competing right now, a lot of spots to fill, but, you know, we're looking at that as a positive for this week. I think that's really generated a lot of excitement. So I think, you know, if you start, you know, offensively, you look at, you know, us being a wing T offense, you look in the backfield, Luke Edwards is a returning starter. He's a senior captain. We're certainly expecting, you know, big things from him on the offensive side of the ball. Other backs that, that we're looking at, you know, to, to carry the ball, we're looking at um, Gage DiCaprio, Ben Miller, Tyler Mikulin, some guys may, maybe to keep an eye on. Um, we're, we're looking at our, our quarterbacks, you know, right now we're working, you know, two quarterbacks who are both doing a great job with, you know, Cole McAllister and Tuff McConaughey. And then, you know, out wide, the quarterbacks are working there as well as um, Davis Fanko and Buda Book. So, you know, we're again, giving everybody, you know, Everybody, you know, many chances and many opportunities to compete and to earn playing time and earn these open spots. It is four guys that we're replacing, you know, on that interior offensive line. And if I'm being totally honest, that may be the biggest key to, that will determine what kind of success we have this season. You know, how well can we replace those four departed starters on the offensive line? We obviously, we returned Braden Penwell. You know, of course, um, on the offensive line from, from last year, we certainly expect him to be a starter for us this year. You know, also, you know, you've got seniors in Elon Horkler, you know, Skylar Scholler, you know, Ashton Williamson, those guys, you know, from the senior group are, are certainly working hard right now. Um, you know, Rocky Serafino is a guy that we expect to step in and do a great job for us on the offensive line. And, you know, some other guys that, that you know, we're looking at there as well. You know, the spots are open. As you said, only one returning starter. We're looking at, you know, Matt Savach goes a junior. You know, Carter Horkovi would be a sophomore. Willie Moore is a sophomore. So a lot of guys right now, you know, getting looked at and being evaluated by our coaching staff. But, you know, I'm proud to report, though, that all of them are working hard, doing a great job. But I really think that, you know, one of the keys with last year's offensive line was just the chemistry they had. You know, the whole line functioned as one unit. You know, the left hand knew what the right hand was doing. So, you know, not only how well this line develops physically, but how well they can grasp the concepts mentally and work as one unit. I think that's going to be a key for not only our offense, but for our entire team this year. I think they're very motivated to, you know, as you said, you know, try to aspire, you know, to, to the standard that's been set here, you know, for the past several years. And I think that, you know, they're hungry. They, they want to leave their imprint. You know, they don't want to be known as that group that, you know, maybe, maybe let things slip or, or, you know, let down, you know, this, this team and this program. So I think that, you know, they're very excited to create their own identity, to leave their own legacy and to make their own imprint on this football team and program.